in this part we will going to work on the app bar okay so these are the app bar you can see and we we will going to work on the layout of the app bar okay so if you see that it is a right panel and it is a left panel and both have a app bar which have a different kind of ui so we will going to create a common component for it like okay and we will going to use it in a both the places so let's go and start writing a code for that what i will do i will going to create a new folder inside the foundation folder that's why i created a foundation folder where we can keep the code which will be reusable on the all over the project okay so i'm going to use a custom app bar and uh, let me create a file custom app bar dot tsx i'm going to use a snippet to create a functional component okay and uh, let's use this custom app bar component inside our right panel we don't need to use this width okay i'm using a box instead of the div okay and uh, you will see that all over the places i'm going to use a box only so it's a kind of a div for me in a material ui so here i just imported the custom app bar we just created on a right panel and i will do the same in a left panel okay inside the custom app bar as well i'm going to use a box only okay so with help of box we can mainly customize the thing so it's easy to use a box all the time and in a box i'm going to use sx okay and uh, in a sx what i will going to use i will going to use a background and what will be the background color of this app bar so actually i have the color code i will put this color code in a uh, description as well so just go there and copy and paste on your code i'm going to use this background color okay also let me provide a width width obviously will going to be a 100% and height let me put as of now as a 60 px remember when we use a react we can take a props as well okay and with help of the props we can use i mean we can take a width and height as a props and we can customize this app bar okay so uh if i will hit the save then you will find that the app bar is added okay and if you closely look on the screenshot of the uh, uh, web whatsapp ui then you will find that we have a vertical divider as well so i will go on a home page and i will add the vertical divider as of now i am using a flex box i mean i am using a box as a flex box with help of the display flex and flex direction is row that's why things are coming in a column wise whenever you will use a display i mean flex direction as a row then our children will come on a column wise like it is a first column and this is a second column okay so if i wanted to add a uh, another children that children will also come on a column wise so this will be a first column this will be a second and this will be a third okay so i'm going to use a6 again and i will going to use a border border will going to be a uh, 0.5 px solid oh we need to use in a inverted comma and uh, i'm going to use a color so i have a color code for the divider as well i will put it in a description again and uh, hit the save then you will find a description uh, you will find the <laughs> vertical divider okay so here the vertical divider is added now let's work on the the ui of the app bar so i'm using the same app bar but app bar have a different ui you can see that right it have a this kind of ui for this and it have a this kind of ui for this so what i will do i will go on a right panel okay so here in a right panel we have a custom app bar and custom app bar 
not taking any kind of props yet so i need to pass a children on a custom app bar so what i will do that i will going to get a children okay so i'm getting a children so this is generally in uh, old reacting what we were doing we were using the props but right now in a typescript what we will do we will going to use it this way we will directly access the children and it is throwing an error because in a typescript every props have a type okay so what i will do for this thing i'm going to create a type with help of the interface in a typescript we can create our own type okay so with help of the interface and uh, this is a way you can provide type to the uh, props so here you have to provide a type so children will have a react element type but i am just going to put any as of now okay and uh, you can see that right panel and left panel is giving an error because children is a mandatory props because here i haven't put a question mark if i will question uh, if i will put a question mark then children will become a non i mean optional props but if i will not put any question mark over here then it is a mandatory props and if i don't provide a uh, that mandatory props then our app will throw an error so this is the beauty of a typescript if we have any kind of error it will throw it away at the same time so we our app will not going to crash in a production okay so here we need to provide a uh, children so for lip panel i uh, will just put okay so okay i mean takes also can act as a children and now here i'm going to use a box again and let's see our ui first so you know about the this flex box and in a flex box we just did that we have a children's and in the children's we can if we use a flex box as a row okay then children will come as a column wise okay children will come as a column wise so that's why if you think this whole component as a first children and this whole component as a second children then we have to use a box put a display as a flex by default flex direction will going to be a row so here i had i had provided the flex direction as a row but if you don't provide a flex direction here and use a display as a flex it will work as a uh, row wise okay so if i will put two different children box and box so it will come as a column wise so let me put the first children as avatar okay so avatar is a component given by the material ui only so if i will hit the save then you will find that okay that not yet came let me use a flex direction over here I need to provide a width as well i guess i need to provide a width as a hundred percent custom app bar i may okay. doing some small mistake as of now i guess so no is so found everything is working display as a flex oh i am doing a mistake that i just got a children here but i haven't used the children on a custom app bar so let me just use it i was got confused that what was the error okay so that came here so let me use the avatar here again okay so you will see two avatar over here okay so uh now this came because let me remove the flex direction because we don't need it by default it will be a row so here we have a two avatar 
and two children that's why okay so here what i will do i will use a property called justify contain and it will help us to align our item in a horizontal way why it is horizontal way because we are using a flex as a row so whenever you use a justify contain it will work in a way of uh, like if you use a display direction as a row then justify contain will help you to align your children in a horizontal way if you use your flex direction as a column then it will work for in a vertical way okay so let's use it as a space between so this is a space between so you will see that both of the uh, children this is the first children and the second children is in the end of the each box so the width of this box is covered by this area and if i will use as a space between justify contain is as a space between it will act as a horizontal way because we are using a flex direction as a row and it is coming in the end of the both uh, ends okay and let's work on the padding of this thing okay so what i will do i will go on a custom app bar i will add a padding as of now i will add 0 px to top to bottom but i will add 20 px to left and right okay so i haven't added a padding on top and bottom but added 20 px on left and right and because of that it is kind of distorted because we are providing a width i will just remove the width and it should work fine okay now the meaning of this thing it it will apply on a top and bottom and it will apply on a left and right okay and here what i will do i will simply go here in a right panel and uh, i will use align item similarly like we have a justify contain uh, we have a align item as well so if we are using display direction as a row then justify contain will work on a horizontal way okay and align item will work on a vertical way okay if we use the same thing as a column so we can use a flex box as a row and column then justify will work as a vertical way okay and align item will work as a horizontal way so this is just a uh, theory knowledge i wanted to give you if you don't have it but i guess everyone should have this thing about the they should know about the flex box so i will use as a center i wanted to centrally align the uh, items okay align item center then also it is not coming to the center that's strange height let me use the height as a 100% the height have the parent okay now it can because we haven't added the height property of the child component that's why it was not able to take the parent whole height so now it came to the center okay cool now let me go here and you will see that now we have a two thing uh, this is a first children and this was the second children and the first children have two childs okay so let's work on a second child again so we are doing a one by i mean one by one so you can see that it have a two child and both are in a column wise that's why we need to use display flex and automatically it will take a flex direction as a row first child was the avatar which we added here okay let me increase it to the 65 so it will look better okay and uh, maybe 65 will work okay so first children was the avatar and the second children will going to be uh, another box which have a two children 
okay so this is our first children and now we have a second children okay it will again have a display as a flex but now you can see that the children of this flex box are in a row wise that's why we need to use a flex direction as a column wise okay so it have a first children suppose balram is the first children so balram came and uh, second children so let me just uh, for the simplicity what i will do i will uh, go on a material ui for this thing i will go on a material ui type pography okay so as we are using a material ui so we have a typography component as well and typography component will help us to figure out which kind of heading or which kind of text we will use so let's use a typography okay so the first children is a typography the material ui component is added and if you see the example then you will find out that here we need to provide a variant so i will use a variant and uh, let's use the h6 let's use a balram as of now let's go on our code and you will find the balram is added but color we need to add a color so let's use a color so it should have a props color maybe and what are the thing it will take it will take any color maybe so let me use a white so balram came but it's looking too big uh, it should have something customized if i will use a body one so what is the criteria to use a body one so we will use a body one like this so instead of variant s6 i will use body one so balram is added okay and uh, second thing in the same thing is the online don't worry about the phone as as of now i mean uh, phone family as of now we will add a phone family later let's work on a ui first i will add a second typography and it will be a subtitle might be let's see what can be it can be a caption text or a subtitle oh we will use a subtitle too okay, let me use a subtitle too as a variant and let's see okay and let me use a online okay if i will use a caption text then because that is not uh, caption text display block caption variant as a caption actually i don't have a proper font size and font weight kind of thing with me because it's a whatsapp internal thing that's why i'm guessing what can i use okay so i'm using this thing okay and it have a different color color will going to be a gray okay. okay let's put the white color only i will find the color code of this online okay so here it came but uh, it is not properly aligned as you can see so for this what i will do i will use align item because i wanted to align the item in a horizontal uh, vertical way so it will be a flex start so these are aligned properly and the one thing i need to do that i need to add a padding between this thing and this thing so what i will do i will add a padding it will be a padding left so padding left shortcut i mean this pl and pr thing will work for the box only so i will add a padding left 10px okay so this thing is added you can see that 
Balram and online is added. We will work on the color later. So at least we align this thing, this whole thing. And uh, now let's work on the right part. Okay, we will do the modification on the UI later. But let's create a layout first. Okay, so here we need to work. So it will be act as the same. It's a uh, flex direction will going to be row and it have a two children. Okay, so here instead of using the author, we're going to use a search and three dot menu. And uh, for that, what we need to do, we need to install the material icon first. So material UI icon, if you search, then we have a icons available. Okay, and we can use those icon. But first we need to install the material icon package. We just copied, I will put this command in the description. First it will install the material icons and then we can use it. I'm going, I wanted to use a search icon. So this is a search icon, just go on this thing. You just had to search here. And when you click on our respective icon, it will give you the import code, okay? So I will just import over here, search icon. That's it. So let me go here and let's see what is, the search icon is added. Uh, let me provide a color. Let me use a SX. Color will going to be a white. Okay, that color came. Search icon is added. Now, we need to add a second icon. Okay, but second icon icon will going to be a three dot menu. Okay, and I first need to use a display as a flex. 